Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is the second part in this piece that I have done. If you have not seen the first part, I would highly recommend that you to check that out first before you move to this video because in that video I explain most of the starting bits that I did in the video with the art piece that I'm doing. Now for this part I went ahead and did the character so the character is already shaded or rendered with the color so for this part I unfortunately only recorded the part where I did the background so but if you are interested in learning about how I've done my character there will be videos in the description where you can go and find out that okay so for this piece um, we were looking off the, we're looking at the background and the background I was seeing lots of browns or dark browns if you like to call them so I was doing the dark browns and I'm trying to bring in the shadows and things like that also trying to have also the highlights kind of pop out and the best thing about doing it in this way when I'm looking at a reference it sort of gives me that sort of like human touch okay if for example if you if, if you are working with an AI you will tend to find it looking more clean or more super realistic as if it's a photographer or, or a photo or a picture but if we are working on it as with a human perspective it's you said you sort of see these tiny imperfections that human beings tend to have no matter how hard we try they are sort of these tiny bits of imperfections and also um, the thing that also sets us apart is the creativity kind of part where we also improve this in things that may not really work as the way we wish to so i did the mountains over there try to bring the shadows and the highlights also tried doing a bit of water where we have the ocean and the river as you can see from the reference so i also tried to add on to that i added a bit of the clouds then decided to do a bit of blurring the clouds so that they said we said to set to have that sort of perspective of depth okay so yeah so that's basically the process that i did and with that once i had done the basic layout or the basic structure that i was working on i later came now did just a bit of touches here and there just correcting and fine tuning here and there so basically this is it that's just it um i recently did another piece which was actually pretty nice very basic that video will be coming out pretty pretty soon hopefully in by the time this video is out it will probably follow the full week after that probably that same week or the full week after that yeah because i want us to see a bit of I wanted to show now a bit of the process of rendering that character. Okay, and I hope if you haven't subscribed, that will be a nice time. And <laughs> it will be a nice thing to subscribe so that you don't miss that and hitting the bell notification so that you get notified when I post that video. All the same, what happens here is already done the character, we already have the colors and the renders and everything. So the last bit that we are adding right now is just the shadow so as to bring the character a bit more to life okay and if you have seen my previous references you understand why I chose some different colors as I chose them and there's also if you if you have not seen that I will highly recommend you watch that because I came up with this pattern for the dressing from the previous video which was really awesome so you can also check out anyway it is nice having you join me i'll see you next next time in the next video cheers